I was asked to speak a little about how to listen to music. It's very difficult to do because music means different things to different people. It means different things to the same people at different times. But one thing is for sure. You can either use music to forget or you can use music for your growth, enjoyment, interest, fascination. To forget means you come home after a particularly difficult day with many problems, with a tax inspector and a dentist and all sorts of unpleasant things, that is maybe disagreements within the family or with friends. You come home exhausted and you put on a CD or you turn to Peral Digital and look on digital for something and you get a piece of music that you find particularly lovely and you forget about all your troubles. So music can be used to forget the world and there's nothing wrong with that. But I think music is a lot more than that and I don't think that the great composers of the past or of the present, Bach, Beethoven, Verdi, Wagner, Poulez, Debussy, whoever you want, I don't think that they wrote music for us just simply to use to forget unpleasant things. And therefore, the question is, what can music give us and what do we have to do in order to get that? Music can give us many things. Music can give us enjoyment, a very important element. Even when the music is about suffering, we enjoy it. I have been told several times by musicians in the orchestra how we enjoy today playing the funeral march. Therefore, even a funeral march brings some kind of enjoyment. It's something almost macabre about it, but of course it isn't. It is that music is everything at the same time. Music never laughs or smiles. Music never cries. It always smiles and cries at the same time. And music allows us to emotionally experience things which we are unable to do without this fantastic word, music, through sound. And therefore, it is, I think, very important when one listens to music to be completely focused on it. You should never think, oh, I have to turn my mobile phone in order to hear the music. You should think, when the music is finished, I must remember to turn it on. It must be that automatic. And then you are completely in the thing. And when you listen to the music, take a few seconds of silence before you start listening. And then when the music starts, you hang on to the first note that you hear and you don't go away thinking of other things about your mother, your girlfriend, the shopping list and the washing up and all that. You hang on to the first note and you fly with the music until the last note. And the amount of pleasure that you will get out of that is absolutely unique. There's nothing else in the world nothing else in life that will give you this kind of enjoyment provided you give yourself to it. You don't have to be an expert in Baroque music or in the 19th century music or in the, in the, in the contemporary music. But you have to have the will, the will to attach yourself to the music, music with your ears and then you will fly with it. And of course, you will listen in different ways to symphonic music, to opera, to piano music, to chamber music. And once you have really learned to give yourself to it in the same way that you give yourself to another human being, then 
you will find out what are the kinds of music that appeal to you more. Like you find different people who appeal to you more for conversation or for whatever reason it may be. And you will find that you enjoy chamber music more or that you enjoy symphonic music or piano music. And it doesn't matter, but in all these cases, you really do, believe me, you really do need complete and total concentration, which is nothing more than giving of yourself. And the more you give, the more you will get back.